Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you new to the Amazon Fire Stick world? Did you just buy one, pull it out of the box, wonder what do I do with this thing? Well, I'm going to talk about that today. I'm going to help you set up that Fire Stick and get the most out of your Amazon Fire Stick. Check it out. All right, guys, got you zoomed in on the screen right now. So I know I have a lot of subscribers, more advanced users that are looking for some advanced Fire Stick stuff. This is just for beginners, new subscribers, those that have not watched any or very few of my videos and are just a little confused, may not be able to maneuver around like they want to. This is just a beginner's guide. Folks, I am doing an advanced guide to the Amazon Fire Stick where you can really customize your Fire Stick. I'll be doing that video. It's already ready to be filmed and edited. So make sure you hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified for that. But this is just for beginners, guys. This is right out of the box, plugged your Fire Stick in. Now what do I do? All right, let's get right to it. So when you plug your Fire Stick in, it goes into your HDMI slot in the back. And then you're gonna have a power supply that plugs into the wall and a remote that looks just like this. A little blurry, a little close to the camera. But this remote here is pretty fantastic. It has everything from a power button, uh, which will also control your TV and volume control up and down. It has a microphone. You can search for things just by talking into it. It's got the little circle cursor that goes around. Uh, you've got the back button, home button, three dashes, which you use quite often, and then play fast forward, and then your mute button, all on your remote. It's very sleek. It's very small, as you can see right here. Not much to it, guys. Very, very simple, easy to use. The Fire Stick is a very easy device to use. And let's talk about a few things. So if you go, when you first plug it in, you're gonna to come to this home screen, okay? If you go left of the home screen to the search, you can search for all kinds of things. For example, if you wanna add your Netflix to your Amazon Fire Stick, you just type in Netflix, click on that, and <clears throat> you'll be able to pull that up right there. So if you've got your Netflix already and you wanna keep it, you can add that to your device just by doing that. Uh, what else can you add? Well, you, as you can see here, I added YouTube, I've added Firefox, and then these free film uh, and TV channels, which are fantastic. I got all kinds of them on here, guys. I'll just show you what I have on my Fire Stick so you can kind of get an idea of the types of things that you can have. So I'm just going to hit the home button. And that'll take you right back to this main screen, just like that. If you hold the home button down, which is right here for three seconds, okay, one, two, three, it will pull this up right here. And this is kind of an important screen to have, and it is hidden, okay? Just by holding that home button, it looks like a little home, three seconds, you're gonna come to this. All right, so you've got apps, sleep mode, and you definitely want to put your Fire Stick to sleep. Uh, it will wake up just by pushing any button, but it rests your Fire Stick and keeps it optimized, okay? Plus, stuff isn't running in the background constantly and you like, and using up your internet space. Um, and some people only have so much data on their internet that they can use, and so you definitely want to put it to sleep. Mirroring, which gives you the ability to take your phone or your computer or your laptop and project it onto the screen. A very, very cool feature. That will be in my advanced video that I'll be doing later. And then settings, where you can set up your Fire Stick to get the best and the most out of it. But let's talk about what apps I have on my Fire Stick right now. All right, so just go over to apps, click on apps. It'll take just a second and it will pull up all the apps. I don't keep all of my apps necessarily on my Fire Stick. I put them in the cloud so it doesn't take up space. My Fire Stick only has six gigabytes of space. I'll be talking about gigabytes of space and all that in my advanced video as well. This is just a tutorial setup. So these are my videos here. I'm sorry, my, my apps that I have downloaded on here right now, okay? Uh, these are ad blockers, live TV apps, um, more live TV apps, live movie apps, uh, sports apps, things like that. And then that's what I like. And then some really good uh, movie apps right here, Cinema and Morpheus. Those are really, really good. And then you've got Pluto TV and Tubi. So this is a good way to cut the cord, guys. If eventually you get one of these and you want to play with it a little bit and decide whether or not you want to keep... Uh, cable. You don't, you, I don't, I cut the cord. I don't need cable anymore because I have everything I need right here on my fire stick. 
What a Fire Stick is, guys, basically, is it takes a regular TV, uh, just a normal TV, and turns it into a smart TV. That's all a Fire Stick is. It's got some great plugins and some things that you can do. But that's all it is. So these are the apps that I use. Uh, one of the TV apps I really like, I actually have a video on it, is this one right here. It's called Pluto TV. If you click on Pluto TV, you'll get you'll see that it has tons and tons of channels. I mean, and movie channels, TV channels, tons of channels that you can watch completely free. If you head over here and just scroll down, just like a regular cable provider. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume down. And it is completely... Oops. It is completely free. It does not cost anything. Now, I know that uh, Pluto TV is not available in all countries, and I am sorry for that. There's not much I can do about that. There's other options, and I'll be talking about those in some of my other videos on how to get those TV shows and movies and so forth in other countries. But I do know that Pluto TV is strictly for the United States and a few other select countries, okay? But I'm just scrolling through to show you all the channels that are on here. There's hundreds of channels on here, guys. Sports channels, news channels, uh, major networks, music channels, forensic files. You've got everything, anything you can imagine for the most part is gonna be on here and it's completely free and it's built into your fire stick all right so let me exit that app how do you get pluto tv on your fire stick well it's free and it's easy and i'll show you hit that home button again like i said before head over here to the circle head on down and type in pluto do you see a there you go pluto do you see a pattern guys super easy to get all these apps so pluto tv boom and there it is. It will pop up. It will load up right onto your device. Okay. Now let's go home. Let's talk about something else. So there's the apps that I use. Now, if you head over to the live tab, these are all of your live TV options. So you've got Pluto TV, YouTube TV, Sling, and so on and so on. Any subscriptions that you have for live TV are to be found right here. And uh, there's all kinds of them here, guys. There's lots of choices. You can get summer subscriptions, some are free, uh, and just click on them and, and they'll tell you. It'll, you know, you'll be able to check that out. And you got NFL Channel, M uh, MLS, Fox Sports, NBC News. There is all of these on your Fire Stick, guys. It's incredible. So that's the live TV uh, tab. Now let's go to your videos. This is anything that you have saved on here. You can save stuff. You can create watch lists. Um, on your Fire Stick, so you can watch it later. Uh, movies. Here's movies that are built into your Amazon Fire Stick. Some are free if you have Amazon Prime, and some will cost. If you click on one, you can kind of see the cost of it. So this, I have Amazon Prime, so um, they're all going to show as free. But um, if you don't have Amazon Prime, some of them you have to pay for. Uh, TV shows that are built in here as well. Uh, and some apps. Now check this out, guys. This is kind of fun. If you head over to Apps, and you head down. These are the featured ones right here, but let's go down to games. Did you know that your Amazon Fire Stick has games built into it for the kids or even for the young adults or somebody like me that likes to play games in their 40s? Uh, some of my favorite games when I grew up was uh, Double Dragon. Here's the trilogy for Double Dragons. $2.99. That's nothing, guys, to be able to play a game back in the day that cost us a fortune. Neo Turf Masters. I remember playing this game. It's like an old arcade golf game. It's very cool. Um, you've got virtual tennis. It's $4.99. Some are free. Some cost money. Here's Pac-Man. Here's $4.99. Snowboard Party. That one's completely free, but it requires a uh, gaming stick, which uh, Xbox works with. it. Any Bluetooth uh, pad will work. Some don't require it. Uh, here's another one. Free Family Friendly Party. Just so, you know, there's a lot of fun games. Who wants to be a millionaire? But you may not know that those were already built into your Amazon Fire Stick. Another one is categories. Now categories is really where you can customize your Amazon Fire Stick. Don't be afraid guys to scroll through and test each one of these uh, utilities and shopping and transportation, productivity, movies and TV. Play with them a little bit guys. Customization. Uh, I did another video on this where you can change your screensaver and your wallpaper and your themes on your Amazon Fire Stick. You can do all of these things, guys. There's a lot to your Amazon Fire Stick. So that's the apps. And now you've got your settings. Uh, settings, I have videos on how to set it up to do apps from unknown sources. I'm not gonna get into that too much here. I just wanted to do an introductory 
uh, tour of your Amazon Fire Stick so that you can kind of get comfortable with it once you pull it out of the box. So back to your home screen right here, uh, you can see all your fun stuff. Uh, once again, if you want to go back to that main screen, just hold your home button down for three seconds, okay? One, two, three, there you go. And then put it to sleep when you're done, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough, a beginner's walkthrough of your Amazon Fire Stick. If you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to comment down below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. It means that I'm doing content that you guys are interested in. Again, this is just a basic walkthrough of the Amazon Fire Stick. Make sure you hit that notification bell because I'll be doing an advanced one where you can really take advantage of everything that your Amazon Fire Stick has to offer. Thanks again for watching. Bye now. Put it to sleep.